Seems really cool. So I want to see what Zenkai can do with this character. Um, but yeah, you see Zankai going for Mewtwo, and Palutena is definitely a character that can shut uh, down okay. so much of Mewtwo, exploiting the most out of all of her disjointed hitboxes. And I love that. Right off the bat, he's throwing off a mini, mini Shadow Ball just to see how Utopian Ray is going to react to that. And he put that in his pocket for later. If he shielded it, next time he's going to go for a grab after that. For sure. And that's and that's usually at, at really high levels, that's how the game usually goes. At the beginning, it's kind of like, let me feel you out, let me see what's going on. Ooh, nice! And this is so scary right now for Utopian Ray because what Zenkai is particularly, I want to say, infamous for is his ledge trapping ability uh -huh. with the multi-jab. Uh -huh. He will go be roll behind you on your neutral getup, on your getup attack, and then deal 30-40% with a single multi-jab. Yeah, it does that much damage? Wow, that's sick. When it's spaced that's pretty good. perfectly on ledge like that, yep. That's pretty good. Okay, Beautiful a little bit side of a stall. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that's pretty that. safe. He did a falling up hill on Palutena's shield, and then threw that... I have never seen an option like that before. That was really, really well played. Yeah. And that's another thing in this matchup that's probably going to hurt uh, Zenkai. Mewtwo is still very light. Yep. Mewtwo is not a, not a heavy character. So uh, those back throws, you got to be yep. careful uh, when you mess with Palu at the ledge like that. Ooh, he's trying to call out an air dodge, but able to still get the jump lead with the up air, and that is so difficult to contest. Yes, for sure. And that's the thing. He didn't commit when he jumped initially. He waited, he waited, and reacted properly instead of kind of like yep. throwing out what he felt like Utopian Ray was going to do, which is how you got to do it. Utopian Ray, just like knowing that he doesn't have enough time to set up any other two frame option, just goes for the down air, but misses it, and still is able to perpetuate his advantage. Zenkai struggling to find footing back on the stage. Yeah, and that was a dangerous situation for Zenkai. He kind of like came up off the edge on a backwards facing Palutena. Listen, uh, whatever move you throw out on a backwards yep. facing Palutena is going to be dangerous. And right oh, there, there you ooh, go. I thought that would have been the multi jab, but they're opting to go through the air to forward or F throw off the stage. A nice job. He kind of carried him all the way to the other side. Full advantage right here. How do you get him off the ledge? You just jump and back air. Yep. Yikes. And you see Zenkai like throwing back in his CQs, definitely like a little bit shook by that option. Oh, but for sure. He, I think he just might have slept a little bit. We're going to see him be a little bit more attentive. And right there, we're going to see the classic Palutena. No, yep. no, no. Up there. Go. 40 to 54% already just from one string. And that is not going to be quite it. Oh, I'm surprised. He didn't have any quick. Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> and the soft hit of back air is still going to kill him. He was pretty close to the uh, blast yep. zone, though. But on that confusion, I'm surprised that he didn't like. Um, he didn't have a move that was stronger and faster to punish with instead yep. of a grab. Normally, you would see them go for the down smash, but obviously, like he already saw Utopian like come out in the wake up option, and he was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, come out in the wake up animation," and yeah. he definitely did not have enough time to punish out with the usually preferable down smash, and. Ooh, I love the forward. Ooh, almost That's dangerous. That was a dangerous situation. Good thing Mewtwo's recovery is still pretty good. And right now, Zenkai has brought it back to even despite all that disadvantage. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, tries to catch him running in with that confusion, but uh, not going to get it. Fair going to put him off stage. How do you get off the edge? Oh, Kate just going to teleport. Pretty good teleport. Not as good as Palutena's, but still a really good teleport. And I'm really, really glad that he threw out that option at the last stock rather than a little bit earlier. Yeah. So that was not an option Ray was anticipating whatsoever. And both these characters are just now trying to jump around each other. Mm -hmm. Now, Ooh, and this is gonna there be it goes. Palutena Fair, such a good move. One of the best fairs in the game, for sure. That move is, is really big, really fast. Auto cancels really well. Um, yep. It's a really good move. And, the and then it kills. Yep. <laughs> and the thing with all like teleport recoveries, and this is not something that Palutena is a stranger to, is those really, really active two frame options like that down tilt. If your character has an active option, you can now, you can, you can, you don't have to time it precisely, right? Uh -huh. Because all you need is that audio cue, and once you have that audio cue, that is just like telling you like this is the time you throw out this option right now, and Utopian Ray is able to get the edge guard with it, and right off the bat, starting with a no, no, no. <laughs> yep. And like, going into this match, I'd like to see Zenkai kind of slow it down, kind of like uh, yep. keep his composure. Because as you can see, he, it look, he looks like a really emotional player. So that could be good and yep. that could be bad. I don't want him to get tilted by that last lock. He was coming He's back, he was making a really, good, a really good comeback. I'd like mm -hmm. him to see him like take that and, and run with it. And right now he has to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more reserved on landing on Utopian Ray's shield. He's, uh, yep. Dikes, a little bit too much playing off on, uh, playing off on that ledge. A little bit too much. Really, really great down tilt, just like catching the drop shield. Nice! Wow. 
Nice, that fair gonna catch him, that rising fair. Active enough so that it covers a lot of area on his way up. Uh, and that's a trade that you'll take, 17% for a stop. Yep. Ooh, and he's definitely not anticipating the counter reflecting the... Ooh, you told me missing the dash grab. Uh, maybe that was trying to be a turnaround. But regardless, this is working out super, super well for Zenkai. Not able to get the parry punish with one of his extremely, like, like, like long tilts. I don't want to say disjointed because his hitbox is kind of like still stuck to them. Yeah. But they're, just, they're, they're really great spacing tools. Mm -hmm. And now you can see Zenkai kind of opting a little bit of some steam right here. He's building. He's cooking. Yep. Let's see what he's able to do. 100% on Palutena in disadvantage. Ooh. Tries to catch it with the up smash. I'm not sure if that would have killed, but it definitely would have sent a message. At he that definitely position. got the read on the directional air dodge, but not uh -huh. on the specific direction yeah. itself. Regardless, he got relatively unpunished for it. He had the stage control, but beautiful parry punish. Wow. Not good fair. Now, hindsight is 20 20, but it seems like he can uh, kind of use fair as a kill option to punish a lot of these options yep. that Utopian Reign. He's going to punish that spot dodge yep. with the fair. And I love all those rolls from Zenkai. That was like definitely like a, a complete mix-up in the momentum that he was showing before. And this way the multi-jab is coming at 25% from that one non-committal interaction. Yep, and that's crazy. And not a lot of characters can roll behind Palutena's yep. uh, forward tilt. Yep. He was able to roll through the entire thing and then punish Palu yep. for it. He's that definitely was really making good. the most out of his movement options. That's what I really, really love about Zenkai's play. Mm -hmm. But Palutena armoring through his nail uh, with the back air. Mm, and that's dangerous. That will always be dangerous. A backwards-facing Palutena is one of the scariest things in yep. this game. Or at least when you're on the ledge. And the platform and extension gonna... on town and city is so, so scary. I love the fact that Zankai opted to recover right onto the platform rather than on ledge, not mm. wanting to risk any option. Okay, now Zenkai has to stay focused here. He allowed Utopian Ray to come back, but he can still win Ooh. this. He just needs to reset the neutral. You saw the fair starting to come out, but Palutena's nail just completely and utterly beat it out. Yeah, these, uh, and these up airs. Okay, Zenkai gonna get out of disadvantage. How does Utopian Ray get off this platform, though? It was a bad situation. <laughs> Definitely had to beat on the air dodge there. Yeah. I feel like he could have capitalized it on more rather than with the up air. But regardless, this is a no. sort of even game, but a so, one meaty option for Paolo could take it out. It's unfortunate that he got the reverse hitbox on that up air. That's what mm -hmm. put Utopian Ray right back in uh, uh, advantage or yep. the neutral. Okay. And you see him like throwing out, throwing out all these shadow balls, just like disrupting all of Utopian Ray's momentum. That oh. was a good option. He was ready for it, though. For sure. Uh, like, Utopian Ray knew that he wasn't going to try something in the air, so he waited for his landing, but he wasn't ready for that option. Ooh. And that's it. That's going to be the punish. He was trying to read the drop down. I really, really like the commitment, actually. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Had Zankai not reacted so perfectly uh -huh. to that, had he waited on a little bit longer, he would have definitely gotten hit by that. That would have been the stock. And if he dropped down, that would have been the stock. So I love the fact... Okay. <laughs> Um, that's fine, but um, I love the awareness from Zankai that he definitely didn't sleep. As soon as he saw that animation, he rushed in, knowing that he has enough time to punish it before the explosive flame could reach Mewtwo's yeah. giant hitbox. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about Palutena mains, they have this little thing, it's kind of like an itch when you're at a certain distance um, on the stage from them, yep. they have to use that side B. It's almost like they have to use it. Yep. So if you go wait for that, if you can play patient and bait it out, which is, which is what I think he did, mm -hmm. he stood right at the range where he wouldn't get hit, but he could still punish, wait yep. for the animation, and punish him for it. That was really, really good. Something that definitely remains is just Mewtwo's ridiculous speed from, mm -hmm. from Smash 4. Absolutely. He has amazing burst options. And I love those flame traps with the up tilt. It's like calling out the air dodge and able to get something else off of it. But Utopian Ray asserting stage control for himself, racking up the percentage slowly by slowly with each and every interaction. And Zenkai, I'd like to see him avoid getting a stock taken by acting aggressively off yep. the ledge. He's, uh, Utopian Ray has taken at least three stocks just from him coming off the ledge with yes. some kind of attack or something. I'd like to see if Utopian Ray can mm. find a different way to kill him. And if not, maybe and Zenkai takes his game. on the ledge. I, ah, but Utopian Ray still is able to get back right, get right back on. It and looks this like he stalled his recovery a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this is a mostly even game is what I would say had he not just gotten back <laughs> uh, off the stage. <laughs> Nonetheless, you see he's still doing it. I don't know if Utopian Ray's picking up, but uh, uh, Mewtwo will die to that back air. Ooh, I really, really like that option because it was like saying if Utopian Ray went for the down tilt, which is normally optimal, and that had traded, that would have most certainly been the stock. Really, really beautifully timed the air dodge, but 
the nail, not enough to take it out. The stall yeah. making sure that he won't get hit by the explosive flame. And there it goes again, acting out aggressively off the yep. ledge. He's able to get hit with the down uh, with uh with the back air. Yep. I and know Mew Mew and Mewtwo's kinda is kinda like their thing. That bear is such a good move. So fast, so strong. Uh really good, kinda like a get off me option in some yep. situations. So they kinda wanna throw it out. But like not against Palu, man. That shield is too good. And getting the really, really meaty after off the stage, and you see Zenkai trying to two flip Utopian Way with the down air, but I think Utopian Way actually landed on top of the stage, just making sure that he's not gonna get those stocks taken out so early. Um, nice. and, look, and right now he's just like gauging. He's like trying to figure out what is he going to do out of uh, Shadow Ball. Mm -hmm. And I like it. I like this. Uh, Okay, good get-up attack. I like this full-screen projectile play Zenkai. Yep. Nice! Ooh. Topian Ray waiting way too long on that ledge. He didn't realize he was at like 160 yep. or something. So your your invincibility doesn't last very long. And not only is Mewtwo's down smash extraordinarily active, but it is fast and it will kill you. And there we go. There we see the multi-jab. Oh my god! 58%. 58% from a single interaction like that. And, and that's and that's Mewtwo's multi jab ledge. Granted, oh I do think the token ways the eye was a little bit suboptimal. That was, on that. It was absolutely horrendous. <laughs> but at the same time, that did so much damage. Yep. Oh my goodness, you were not lying. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but right now crossing up his shield with the neutral and nice and safe. The nail not enough to take it out. I love that using the side beat not only to stall but to effectively reflect the explosive flame. But that time not working out okay. for Zenkai. Yeah, and it looks like Zenkai doesn't really like to air dodge when he's off the stage. Mm. Like I haven't seen too many air dodges. He, he opts to stall above the um, the explosive Ooh, flame rather that than was air his dodging. Jump, but then he air dodged just as you said. He yeah. definitely was able to mix it up. Getting a little bit of charge on his spear, trying to call out a jump out of shield, or maybe a drop shield from uh, which open way, but Ray not taking the bait though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Alger, when you get hit with a projectile like that, that kind of like diminishes your shield so low, or brings it down so low, you kind of want to yep. jump out of the situation. So it's a good setup, but uh, like you said, Utopian Ray didn't take the bait. And this is so precarious for Zankai right now. Not only is his whole stock down, but he's at 106%. So the entirety of the stock, he was unable to touch Ray. The explosive flame, despite getting the full hit, not enough to kill him. Yeah, for sure. You told me, like we said, and you told me. Go. That's the down, uh, down tilt trading, but yeah. he did not have enough time to land with a down smash, unfortunately, exactly. for Zankai. If he didn't trade, he probably would have got something stronger, but uh, that's just a mm -hmm. bad situation to be in. Really great nice. catch from Ray. Wow. Man. Sucks. You hate to see mm -hmm. it, man. But uh, two out of his three stocks are from him just coming off the ledge aggressively. No. But I mean, that's what Utopian Ray baited. He, did, he didn't really have too many other options. Yep. Uh, maybe jump over him mm -hmm. completely, go to the other side of the stage, reset the neutral completely. Yep. Maybe not try and fight out of it. But I don't know. It seems like a tough matchup for me, too. Yep. Not only